Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name's Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. Well, this isn't really jewelry. I went to the estate sale this morning and then did my little video and then I decided to go back to Chesterfields and spent another $457. And let me show you what I got. Excited. There was I went back for one item um, that I had forgotten to go back for while I was there because I was filming. <laughs> so I decided to uh, go back, and the same young man that was there the other day, Paul. Uh, gosh darn, where's his card? Uh, Paul, the, the Wire Boy Inc., uh, the one that did all those amazing lamps. Oh, actually, here, I'm going to share his info with you guys so you guys can check it out, too. Um, he was such a sweetheart. And, uh, yeah, there's his info. Um, anyways, the happened to be the one thing that I did want happened to be from his booth. So, um, I sat and talked with him and lo and behold I pretty much spent all this money at Paul's booth. <laughs> so let me unwrap all this stuff first and then we'll go through. Oh yeah this one wasn't from Paul. So let's say all right well let's start with these. Uh, these three were from Paul. This one is signed N-O-U-R-O-T Neurot G73-79 D-L-L um, There's the signature there and this is cool. Look at that. That's beautiful. Just amazing colors in there. Or the, the blue. It's so this is all very dark blue. Um, and it stands to the side. So you can see into that. It'd be really cool with a bright light behind it. It would just glow. Uh, this one here is fantastic. So there's three different... Uh, if you can look down in there, there's three different layers of these... Uh, you can see that first layer deep in there, and then there's a second layer right there, and then the third layer. I have an ivory ball that's a ball within a ball within a ball. This is what, this kind of reminded me of that. Um, and it looks like this is Colin, 1979. That's a really, really neat one. And then this one, I just thought was like, it was very groovy. It reminded me of the 60s for some reason. <laughs> Although it was made in 1986 by Robert um, Levine. L-A-V-I-N-E. Robert Levine. Um, what does that say? 1986. Yeah. This one's really cool because it can sit on any given direction and or like that, um, and it is signed just there. Uh, I gotta clean all that up. That's where the price tags were. Uh, and I got this one. Uh, this has one big bubble on the center and then some really neat, like, cool wave things. They remind me of the ocean right there. Um, and I thought I'd just buy these because I do have a collection. And this one is also signed um, C92. I think it just says C92. That's all I'm seeing right now. Anyways, I just thought that one was really cute. Kind of small. What did I get? Oh my, this is heavy. Let's 
see those. Beautiful. Be kind, y'all. I didn't already say that. So, this Paul actually had in his display case, just on display. Um, I had seen them, oh, last time I was in there, approximately four, six months ago or so. Um, he simply had them swagged inside of the case. You guys saw them yesterday. So, I went for one item and... I asked him, are these for sale? And he said, well, uh, you know, everything's got a price on it kind of thing. Um, he bought them for decoration, not necessarily for resale. Um, and he hadn't really thought much about it. So he had me name a price and he said, yes. And excuse me, Kitty. Hello. He just want little loves. Okay. I'll let you have some loves today. <laughs> That's the weird cat that I usually, um, you know, kind of push her. Look, now she's doing it. She's going to start putting her teeth all up on me, and I don't like that. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you, Paul. He gave me a really spectacular deal on all of these, and um, thank you for uh, your kindness. And uh, he also gifted me a beautiful ring. Uh, I, I've already put it in my jewelry box. Uh, it's a beautiful wire-wrapped ring uh, that another local artist had made, and it was a free gift with my purchase. And these are just all old glass, all hand-knotted in between, and look how beautiful. I mean, that's just, look at how they glow. Just amazing. These again, just slightly faceted. There's, there's probably like 10 facets all the way around each one of these. Just incredible beads. Okay, I don't know which one to do first. This one. This is almost the same as this, except for this is purple glass. And it's just amazing. Beautiful purple glass. I mean, and this one. This one is, it's all hand knotted in between. It's graduated. It starts with a very small glass bead and then slowly graduates. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Beautiful. I mean, this glass is so crystal clear. There's no bubbles. It's almost like, um, almost like a, I, I'm not going to say that. No, it's just beautiful. That's what it is. It's almost like it's beautiful. It's fantastic, actually. Let me get it about right there. Super long. Um, and there's no, you know, you can't tell where they started or ended these. Beautiful glass. Oh, and where is it? Oh, look at I lied. I thought I had put it in my, uh, I thought I had put it away in my jewelry box already. That must have been another ring I took off. Er, scratch that last statement. <laughs> and I have no idea what's in here. Uh, I know one of the things that's in here is the main item that I had gone for. And that would be this. So I'm going to see what's in here first. <laughs> and thank you, Paul, for the beautiful ring. I love it. Ooh, that's right. Okay, I got these amazing um, red Bakelite screwback earrings. And excuse the little stringy. 
the stringy dingy. Um, yeah, it's a screw back earring and it's just a beautiful red uh, cherry Bakelite. Oh, and this one. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. I couldn't believe the price on this. This was a phenomenal price. Look at this. Pixie, I'll be right with you, Mama. I'm almost done here, okay? Give me five seconds. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, Mama, hang on. Oh, I don't know how to... I keep pausing my videos, and then I try to come back in, and I'm pushing the wrong button, and um, I've stopped recording on two or three so far. So give me one second, Mama. Oh, I, she was just outside. So if anything, she's just wanting mama's attention. Oh, at dun dun dun. You guys probably saw this in the video uh, when I went through Chesterfields. And anyhow, this is just fantastic. It is a pendant. Um, and this is some form of, well, it looks like an amethyst. And this is a beautiful quartz crystal. And it looks like it's all in sterling silver although it is not marked anywhere, but it sure does look sterl sterling, I'm sure of it. And that's just a big, beautiful pendant. That's what I went back for, just this, and I ended up buying all of this. So thank you, Paul. <laughs> if you guys uh, would be so kind, please let me know what your favorite item in here was today by leaving me a comment in the video. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.